I get it. Technology has made the world a lot smaller. And that actually is a great thing. But it also can be something that we need to um, learn to navigate in terms of scammers. And that especially is true when it comes to dating and your finances. I'm hearing way too many stories about people being scammed by strangers online. And I get it because everybody wants to find love. If they don't have it, they want it. And we all have these kind of fairy tales that have been pumped into us since childhood, particularly as women. As women, the fairy tales of Cinderella and the Prince Charming, Barbie and Ken, whatever, They've been pumped into us since we were kids. So this idea of you meeting this Prince Charming, and now we're able to connect with people literally around the globe. But uh, you don't know this person. You can be open, but don't allow um, yourself to lose all common sense, okay? Stranger danger is real. And that goes for women and men. We already know it goes for children. We, we teach children about stranger danger, but I feel like as adults, we need a lesson again in stranger danger. If you meet someone online, and that's not just uh, dating apps because everybody doesn't do dating apps, but a lot of people are on social media. You can start connecting with the person, messaging, all of that stuff even escalate to talking on the phone, FaceTiming, all this kind of stuff. But if they are a stranger to you or get this, you haven't seen them in decades. That happens. Someone you knew from childhood, y'all find each other on social media. It's two, three decades later. It's been a life, a lot of life living between that. They are not who they were back then. So they re really are essentially a stranger to you as well. You have to take precautions. Don't give too much personal information. You can allow someone to get to know you, the essence of who you are as a person in the, in the world of just being open with connecting with people, but you don't need to be telling them where you live and you know your kids' names and you know, all of the specific details, your parents' names, your siblings. You don't need to be doing all that. Keep it in a sharing of character, these type of things. And if you choose to meet a stranger and a person, even that you've had five, five hour conversations with, they are still a stranger. You just met them five days ago. Okay. And maybe you had that type of connection that y'all just, you know, you enjoy talking to each other and you feel like there may be something there and maybe there is but maybe not, you don't know yet. So proceed, but proceed with caution, okay? If you choose to meet the person in person, public only, public only. There is no meeting at someone's home. There's no letting them come to your home. I do not care how long the conversations have been. You don't know this person. Public places only. If you have a drink, you have a phone, you have a wallet, a purse, do not leave it with that person. You don't know them. They could put something in your drink. They can take something out of your phone, out of your wallet, out of your purse. You don't know them yet. So take precaution. If you are seeing someone and you don't know them and you don't know them even after a few months, but you maybe you're getting there, but it's been a month, two months, whatever the case may be. And if they ask you for money, oh, they all of a sudden are having some type of issue financially and they're bringing it to you, beware. Where's all the people that they've been knowing. You don't know them. 
why would you be the first person that they would bring this issue to? And that goes for you gentlemen as well. If a woman does that to you, beware where her people at. You just met her. Why would she bring her financial issue to you? These are some basics, y'all. Listen, we all love a good fairy tale. We all love that. And we, you know, hey, the idea is cool. But the reality is, is that we live in a world that can be pretty jacked up sometimes. Everyone doesn't mean you well. So please take proper precautions, even as you keep hope alive, even as you open yourself up to, you know, maybe love in all these different forms or new friendship or whatever the case may be. And I want to also add, when it comes to meeting strangers online, even for opportunities, investments, business investments, take precaution. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Don't get scammed, y'all. Don't get scammed. Stranger danger is real. Give it some time. Everything will present itself with time. Okay?